Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, All Things Terrica Marie. Today I'm going to walk you through a simple, easy technique of how to achieve a braid out using the lock method. But before we get started, I ask that you subscribe to my channel, like the video, and give me some feedback by commenting below. So let's get started. First, we want to section our hair off in four squares. Um, as you can see, I'm not using any type of comb or anything. I'm using my hands just to evenly break um, my hair apart and section it in four, um, two at the top, two at the back. It doesn't really have to be um, that neat. I do like the front of my part to just kind of be a little neater because I do usually wear my braids for a couple of days. Um, but here we just want to achieve four even sections, two at the top, two at the back. And you can clip them using a twister or you can um, use hair clips. As you can see, your hair do sometimes get twined up. Just go ahead and resection it. Um, we're going to get started using our liquid. Here I'm using Dark and Lovely Super Quench in the spray. Um, some people use water. Next, we're going to use our oil. Here I'm using avocado oil. You can use any type of oil you prefer. This is all I had around the house. Um, just make sure you moisturize your hair really good and work it in. Um, sometimes you may need extra. As you can see, I applied a little extra. I like to make sure it's nice and moist. Next, you're going to use your cream. Here I'm using Blueberry Bliss twist and short cream just make sure um you know you use enough product you think you need i really can't say how much product you need i know my hair eats up a lot of moisture and then you want to just brush your hair so here i'm using a tangle tamer brush that i got from sally's these brushes can be found anywhere honestly you can get it off amazon as well um you want to just make sure that your hair is really combed out detangled start from the bottom work your way to the top i'm going to actually section this particular area off in two I'm going to put two braids in this one area just simply because I don't like my braids too thick. It gives you room to dry and more definition. Um, before I start braiding, I'm going to add um, some jelly to this um, particular area. Give it some extra definition and I'm using the Ken um, jelly. And then I'm going to add some Eco Gel. I'm using the Castanor and um, Flexseed, the green bottle. Um, it just helps hold your hair, kind of maintain frizz, and then you can start braiding your hair. Um, braiding is really simple. Um, just kind of make sure that you maintain a neat braid because that is going to determine how your braid come out when it's time to take it down. I actually wear my braids for a few days, so um, I like it to be at least a little presentable. So you're going to just continue to braid toward the bottom of your hair, work your way toward the end. As you notice, I'm not going to braid all the way to the end of my hair. I do leave a little room so I can just give the end a natural curl by winding it around one of my fingers. And you can just add a little eco gel if you want just to give it a little hold. So I'm actually ready to braid the next step. Um, I'm just going to add some more jelly and some more gel just to get a nice hold for my next braid. Um, I've already used the lock method um, in this particular section. So I'm going to just add some more jelly and some more gel. And I like it just because it gives me like a firm braid and a hole for the next couple days and adds some real definition to my hair. So as you can see, the technique itself is really easy. Um, it's just basically repeating the same process over and over you're going to wind up with four braids in the back four at the top you know two in each section uh, I just love this process because it helps me maintain moisture it leaves my hair soft um, it's a great protective hairstyle it has helped my hair um, stay thick strong and actually promotes growth and here I'm just basically doing the same thing I moved to the section in the front now I'm going to repeat the same process using my liquid oil and my cream. I'm um, gonna list all of these products in my description below. Um, you're just basically going to do the same thing in each section. So 
So you're gonna notice when I move to the top section of my hair, I do use a red tail comb just to part that particular area just because I do wear my braids for about four or five days before I take it down. Um, it just helped me maintain my hair, um, low maintenance. Like I say, it's a protective hairstyle. So I wear my braids. Um, it's easy get up and go hairstyle. But for as the process is exactly the same, you know, using your lock method and you're gonna just start braiding again. So yeah, I love it. I do it about once every two weeks. I wear my braids for about four to five days and then when I do take my hair down, which I will do a video on, um, I wear that particular hairstyle for about four or five days before I wash my hair again. And I'll also do a video of, you know, how I braid my hair throughout the various days that I do wear it down. So just be on the lookout for those videos. So now I'm on the final section of the right side of my head, um, the last braid, and I'm gonna use the exact same method. Here, I just need to add my jelly and my gel, and I use a brush at the top section, like I say, just to make sure I lay my hair down, my edges, um, because I do wear my braids out. So I just make sure, especially the front part of my hair is really um, neat and um, at least decent to be worn, because I do wear for a couple days um, but I'm just basically repeating the process so once I finish this braid I'll have four braids on the right side of my hair um, your left and that was pretty much it quick easy so as you can see I've moved to the opposite side of my head and I'm going to use the exact same process. I'm going to use my liquid, then I'm going to use my oil. Um, it's always good to add additional product if you need it. Um, as you can see, I added additional oil just because I got a feel for my hair. Um, you would have to learn your hair and learn exactly how much product you need. My hair eats up a lot of product, so I like to add extra. Um, you can see I'm just separating my hair within two, within that one section, and gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna make sure I add my jelly and my gel. That's optional. Once you finish that side, you should have a head full of braids, a total of eight braids, four at the top, four at the back, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grease my scalp with my wild growth oil. You've achieved your braid out using the lock method.